Welcome back. With me, I have uh, Jennifer Whitney, and she's going to whip up some uh, delicious <laughs> muffins here. What, what, are you, what do we got? Well, today we're going to make gluten-free, egg-free banana muffins. Oh. And I came up with this recipe because my kids love banana bread, and I wanted to come up with a healthier version than the traditional recipe. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we're going to start with two cups of gluten-free flour. And, and as many um, of you know out there, they're Gluten is a big, big issue, so to be able to find something that's good for your kids that they like and uh, that's not inflammatory to the guts, that, that's great. Yeah, and my kids love these, so they often take them in their lunches in the morning. And We're going to put two teaspoons of uh, baking powder and then two teaspoons of baking soda. And then we're going to throw in a fourth cup of walnuts. And this is optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I like to kind of throw them in because they add those extra fats and mm -hmm. fiber. And they're just really good for you. And then we're going to go to our wet ingredients. And here we have two very, very ripe bananas. And we're going to put these in. So you just mush them up. I mean, mm -hmm. you get, get them really ripe yeah. and mush them up. That's pretty fun. Kids love making this too. Yeah. And then we're going to do two-thirds of a grade B maple syrup, and this is the only sweetener in this recipe. So it's much healthier than regular sugar. And, um, and grade B maple syrup has a lot of minerals and vitamins. And so we're not we're talking about that fake maple syrup that you buy. This is real maple this syrup. This is the real stuff. Yeah, loaded with nutrition. <laughs> and then we're going to do a half cup of coconut oil. We're going to put that in here, which just adds even more nutrition because it's very, very good for you, good for your heart. And antifungal, antibacterial, and then we're going to go ahead and put in um, two-thirds cup of milk kefir, and you can use coconut milk kefir or regular milk kefir, and you can also use milk if you want, but I like to put the kefir in because this really adds a lot of probiotics and enzymes, and if you pre-make this whole recipe and let it set for a couple of hours, it's actually going to kind of pre-digest this entire, you know, all the flour and everything, so when you actually bake it and eat it, it's very, very, very easy to digest and actually really good for you. Um, kefir kind of naturally leavens food, so they come out really light and fluffy, and um, they're just, they're really good. So you're going to mix this, and then you're going to go ahead and put it in some muffin tins, and put it in your oven at 400, and bake it for 25 to 30 minutes, and you have delicious gluten-free banana muffins. Would you like to try one? I'm, I'm going to eat <laughs> one right after. Believe me, this, these look, I mean, these are awesome, and I've had them before, so they're really, really good. And, and what's cool is that you know, you're giving your kids something that they love, and it's actually helpful. It has all these good bacteria in it, and it has, you know, the, the coconut milk. It has, yep. you know, good minerals from a, a real maple syrup and so forth. So, so that's yep. amazing. It's, Thank delicious. you very much, Jen, and, you're and I definitely suggest you try this as well. <laughs> After this, we'll be right back.